Hello, I'm Admiral Bumblebee, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up dynamic EQ sidechaining in Reaper. If you're not familiar with what that is or why you may want to use it, please check in the description below for another video where I explain it in more detail. Let's get on with this. The first thing we need to do is route audio from the kick to the sub. So click on the routing box and drag from the routing box on the kick to the routing box on the sub. When the send dialog opens, we need to send audio from 1, 2 on the kick to 3, 4 on the sub. Next we add RIA EQ or your choice of EQ to the subtrack. Once your equalizer is open, hit play and mess with the equalizer until you are happy with how the sub sounds when the kick is hitting. That seems just about good enough for me. On the EQ band that you just adjusted, move the gain slider up and down. This works for any equalizer. Now click the param button, then click parameter modulation slash midi link. When that's up, click the audio control signal checkbox. For this to work, we need to use the audio coming from our kick channel that we routed earlier. So under track audio channel, select three plus four. Set the attack time to around zero one, put the release between 100 and 200 milliseconds. Put the direction to negative, since we want this to push downwards on the EQ band. Set the baseline till our equalizer band is about neutral. Hit play and set the strength value until you're happy. That's all there is to it. That's it, we're done. Dynamic sidechain EQing in Reaper. Check out my website, AdmiralBumblebee.com. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash AdmiralBumblebee. And check out my other videos. Now, check out of this one.